The war in Ukraine could last 10 years. NATO allies should be ready for this. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said this. The stronger we support Ukraine, the longer we are ready to support it, the sooner the war can end. If we understand very clearly that we will be here for a long time, that we are determined to help Ukraine for a long time, then we will protect Ukraine as a sovereign, independent state. We will create conditions for the resolution of the conflict, Stoltenberg stressed. Stoltenberg called on Europe to increase funds for military aid to Ukraine. The paradox is that now President Putin believes that he can wait us out. So therefore, the war continues. When we communicate very clearly that we are here for long haul, that we have strong enduring support for Ukraine, then we have the conditions for a solution where Ukraine prevails as a sovereign independent state. He once again urged European NATO countries to increase military aid for Ukraine and their defense spending amid fears that US funding could dry up during a potential return of Donald Trump to White House. Stoltenberg also reminded about the recent decision of the alliance to coordinate support for Ukraine through a command unit in Germany starting from September. This will provide more predictability and accountability and support and it will also demonstrate our enduring commitment to support Ukraine, Mr. Stoltenberg said. It is not the first time Stoltenberg warns NATO of a possible decades-long confrontation with Moscow. If Russia wins in Ukraine, aggression could spread to other countries, he said earlier. Earlier, BILD, citing its own sources in the intelligence of a European country, reported that Russia may try to attack Europe in late 2024 or early 2025, when the United States will be without a leader and will be able to save European states only after some delay. Western militaries, as well as civilians, need to be prepared for an all-out war with Russia that may significantly affect their lives, Britain Sky News reported on January 19, citing Dutch Admiral Rob Bauer, chairman of the NATO Military Committee. German Defense Minister Boris Pistorius said that Europe is again facing a military threat that has not been seen for 30 years and warned of a possible Russian attack in 5 to 8 years. New intelligence shows that Russia is rearming faster than expected and could attack a NATO country within 3 to 5 years, Danish Defense Minister Trolls Lund Poulsen said. Russia again threatened NATO with war, Medvedev spoke about asymmetric strikes on the West. Former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev claimed that Ukraine joining NATO would be viewed as a declaration of war against Moscow. He emphasized that only prudence on the alliance's part could prevent catastrophic consequences for the planet, according to his interview published by a local weekly newspaper. Medvedev, who is currently a deputy chairman of Russia's Security Council, told Argumenti i Facti that Ukraine's membership would pose more than a direct threat to Moscow's security. From the very beginning, we have made it clear to NATO that Ukraine's accession is not just a direct threat to Russia's national interest. It is, in fact, a declaration of war, albeit with a delay. During the recent summit, NATO leaders pledged to support Ukraine on a path toward full Euro-Atlantic integration, including potential NATO membership, without specifying a timeline for accession. The actions that Russia's opponents have been taking against us for years, expanding the alliance, take NATO to the point of no return, Medvedev was quoted as saying. Medvedev told that Moscow is trying to prevent a devastating global conflict, but its opponents are reluctant to demonstrate common sense. When asked whether Russia should use a broader range of weapons at its disposal in the Ukrainian conflict, provided that more and more restrictions are being lifted by the United States, he said. In any case, Russia will act in strict accordance with the UN Charter and other key documents, as well as with universally accepted norms of the international law. And as long as we can prevent a global catastrophe, we will try to do so. Regrettably, our current enemies do not share our aspirations and we cannot count on their wisdom, will and aspirations for peace.
which means that everything is possible, he said. He went on to say that Russia has moral and legal grounds to give an adequate symmetric or asymmetric response to any direct threat to its security and sovereignty. Medvedev has made numerous controversial and inflammatory statements on social media platforms and has openly challenged Ukraine's right to exist as an independent nation, declaring that Ukraine is definitely Russia and calling it an integral part of Russia's strategic and historical borders. During his presidency from 2008 to 2012, Medvedev, once seen as a pro-Western modernizer, has transformed into a staunch hawk, cautioning the US and its allies that their support for Kyiv could result in a nuclear apocalypse. In a standard Kremlin line since Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in 2022, Medvedev said Russia, though, does not threaten NATO. Russia has no intention of attacking alliance members' countries and certainly does not aim to turn their populations into fine radioactive dust, Medvedev said.